if I'm in the air and it's foggy and I feel like, oh, oh, you know, we may not be in Cali no more. I heard Michael Jackson was at his own funeral as a woman in a blonde wig. You know the vibes. Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snack. Yeah. What's going on, J Squad, Punk Squad? Before we get into this video, I do need your help with this YouTube promo. So please click the link in my description. Also, the link will be pinned in my comment section below. Tell me support, but not only support, but subscribe, and not only subscribe, but support. Alita B Diary, um, she is no stranger when it comes to my channel, when it comes to promos, so here I am once again doing a promo for you, baby girl, because you've got to be leveling up, succeeding in 2020, because I don't know your subscribers, this is not showing, but anywho, you guys, um, Alita B Diary, that is her YouTube channel, and just to give you a little bit about what she is doing, um, vlogs, hauls, DIYs, hair, yes hair, can you see my hair? Story times, podcast videos about life, and that's just to name a few things, but let me get into a little bit more depth about, you know what I'm saying, baby girl. She has an identical twin. Her twin sister passed away several years ago, and once again, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, rest in peace to baby girl. Um, so now, Alita, she is trying her best to enjoy the days that she has here left on earth until God calls her home and hopefully experience the blessing of becoming a mom along the way. How is that going for you? Let me know, girl. Um, her life is hectic but rewarding. And on her channel, you'll see a little bit of everything. So stay tuned and get to know her. I just want to wish you the best of luck, as I always do, to anybody that I do a YouTube promo for. But... Um, you guys, she has videos, consistent videos for you to go watch. Make sure you comment. Let her know that J-Bob sent you with a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Support her. Subscribe to her, you guys. And yes, I wish you the best of luck. Um, let me know how that mom life journey is going for you. Have you started? When you gonna start? And yeah, uh, keep your head up, baby. And keep grinding. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay blessed. And keep your twin sister um, always with you in spirit. And always celebrate celebrate her life um the life that she did have you know the happy moments and things like that but i appreciate you for considering me to do your promo girl and yeah let's get to the video peace what's going on j squad plum squad it's your girl j you already know welcome back to j vibes where's a whole lot of great vibes going on big Today's video, you guys, I just literally want to come on here and rant and get some things off of my chest because it's been on my chest, my mind, my heart, my thoughts, my thinking process, my sleep, my conversations with people, my everyday. I look here, it's there. I look there, it's there. Or here. Not to say here. Anywho, before I get off track, please make sure you are subscribed, like, share, and comment. I definitely want you to comment put your feedback down below because this can be like, you know, a mini ongoing ranting session. Maybe, maybe not. First things first, I just wanna say today is February the 1st, so it's officially Black History Month. And what I wanna do to... But what I wanna do, you guys, to just be in the Black History Month spirit. If you go to my website, jbobsmerch.com, I do have a discount code for you to use. Discount code Kobe24, and you will receive $8 off. You see the resemblance? Yeah, $8 off on your purchase, and that is what I'm doing for the whole entire month of February, you guys. So jbobsmerch.com, go get your merch, girl. I have big period t-shirts. I also have the Who Am I logo, which is the jbobs with the big period logo. Those t-shirts also have hoodies in both. I also got the sweatsuit up there. I'm still working on the website. I'm trying to make it more simpler for you guys to put in some custom orders. And when I say custom orders, you guys, basically you get to choose whatever color garment that you want. So if you want any color t-shirt, any color hoodie, I will have long sleeves up i will have uh sweatshirts up and i did find you guys some crop top hoodies because i don't know 
know why y'all want some crop top hoodies in the, in the winter time because it's cold and I don't know why you're trying to have your stomach out even if you gonna have your stomach out. I don't know. It's what you want. It's not you want to want. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I got to cater to you, baby. Okay? But I do have some crop top hoodies that I'm gonna put on the website for you guys. So back to how do you custom order and what is a custom order? So you pick the color or whatever you want to be wearing, right? And then also I'm going or I'm in the process of creating a simple way for you to look at for you to look at it at okay and it might be a little more simpler if I show you what I'm talking about so when I'm speaking of custom orders this is actually what you're customizing it's basically like you're choosing the color of your logo so you know I got the rainbow I got white okay got some black in there right Gold, we have red, we have who is we? I, who? Blue, well, we, me, you, I, us, yeah, Plum Squad, J Squad, you know what I'm saying. Two, green, J, we have glitter. Also, oh, pink. I used up all of my camo, but that's just an example. So you get to customize your order with choosing what color logo you want it to be. So when it comes to like big period, that's just one color. So you can have pink, you can have glitter, um, holographic. So this rainbow is more like a holographic is what that is. And it's more where that came from. I have patterns like plaid, camo, zebra. Uh. Wood, basketball, snowflakes, candy canes, Halloween. I got all kinds of patterns, okay? So you get to choose your pattern, and then when it comes to the Who Am I logo, of course, that is two logos, J Vibes and Big Pier. And it's also two colors. So with something like that, you get to choose two colors. So I don't have uh, an example of um, flock, but flock is like a sway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sway. Um, but anywho, yeah, it's kind of like more of that and I will have that available for you as well. So I'm just trying to, you know, let me stop saying trying because bitch, you the fuck are and the fuck is, okay? I am in the process of just creating that for the website for you guys. So we just be a little more simpler, but I do have my website all in throughout. What did I say? Do I do have my website? What are you talking about? What are you trying to say? I do have my phone number all throughout the website, so do not be afraid to, you know, text me first. And if we need to have a phone conversation, we will, but text me first. Um, just don't call. Just don't call. But text me if you have any, like, questions or you want to talk or you just need me to walk you through anything. Yeah, that's number one thing that I wanted to get off of my chest. The second thing that I wanted to get off my chest because... I mean, I can't have a conversation with anybody without me not talking about it, without it not being brought up, without it not being on your mind, without you not wanting to know somebody else's point of view of, of, you know, whatever the case. You guys, this whole situation that happened on Sunday with, you know, a very heroic person and a person that impacted a lot of people's lives all throughout the world. Um, yeah, the whole situation never sat right with me. Like, first of all, I found out through social media before the news even posted it. A lot of people are questioning, like, okay, well, how was TMZ already out there? I read some things that, you know, it was his team that gave them the go to release it. And then I have been reading on some other stuff, how, you know, LeBron knew, his wife knew, his wife was doing voodoo, all this kind of crazy stuff. I also heard, like, they... Him and his wife necessarily did not travel together on purpose because she knew. I don't know. And then it's kind of like also her, you know, when it comes into the that that um you supposed to sacrifice somebody, and he didn't necessarily want to sacrifice nobody, so it had to be the closest person to him, and it was her. I just think. I don't know what to think. I don't really know what to think, what to feel, what to say, but it's so many things going on in my mind and so many questions. And the number one thing, because I have a heart, and before we just go out into the damn woods. Reaching and searching and finding unknowns and unknown people that have answers and I, I don't know. The first thing that literally came to my mind was like, I could only imagine while this was happening, 
the words that he was speaking to his his little girl Gigi, the words that Kobe was speaking to her, the prayer that he prayed for not only just him and his daughter, but the other family that was also. I mean, just everybody in the in the helicopter. And then when it comes to this black box and why was it not recommended on this helicopter? That don't make no sense. Mm. Not only that, you know, it's just, if I'm in the air and it's foggy and I feel like, oh, oh, you know, we may not be in Cali no more. You know, we may just be going towards Dakota. North Dakota, I don't, I don't even know that's beside that. The ocean, you know? I would have never wanted to put the helicopter down. I'm in the air for a reason. You just can't come down when you're in the helicopter. You just can't. Just oh, I'm just gonna come down now. Like I don't see. Any, I'm just gonna. But not only that. On a serious note, like it's supposed to be communication between the person driving the plane and anybody on the ground. You know that's why they wear those headsets because they're supposed to have communication with the people on the ground that can see the air traffic in the air. And I don't understand. Why all this stuff? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I don't wish the pain of the ones that is, was closest to him, friends, family, and supporters. I don't ever call supporters fans. I just think it's rude. I think it's borderline rude. But, um, yeah, y'all. I mean, we can talk about it. If y'all don't want to talk about it, y'all just want to like, okay, Jay, we heard you. I don't want to talk about it. We ain't got to talk about it. I just had to get that off my chest. And I want to get out of my chest publicly because I'm tired of having these secret conversations with people and not just knowing, not knowing and still just finding myself going back to point A, point zero, for real, for real, of just trying to figure it out. And it sucks. And I just know for a fact, like the, in the investigation itself is gonna take so long for them to just figure out why the plane, like did the plane go down? Or was it the pilot didn't feel safe in the fog and he wanted to come down? I don't know. Um, but, and then I also heard some crazy stuff like Kobe wanted to pass away young. He didn't, but that don't make sense. But then also, you know, I was reading and he was in the process of suing this pharmacy because this pharmacy is using these supplements that are not signed off by the the head people that signed off supplements for things to go inside of things that was not whatever they had going on this is the main thing y'all this is a pattern okay whenever somebody of higher power and it ain't just us you know what i'm saying it ain't just us it's it's other people out there too but you know i guess because of us we recognize us when us Ain't here no more. I don't know. Oh, I know what I was saying. Um, when take your time, baby. I know you're thirsty. I know. And this this is your room, so I can't necessarily say nothing to you now. What this is not is this is not your ottoman. So I know you probably looking like, hey, make room for me. Okay. Come on, bookie. I'm just speaking to the people. Yep, yep, speaking to the people. I know you want to be spoiled. I'm just trying to speak to the people. Yeah, let me get my phones out your way. Hey, mama. Hey, Bookie. Hey. Yeah. I didn't do it. Well, what do I smell like? What did I do? I'm just trying to talk to the people. Yeah, they right there. Yep, just find a spot, sit in it, stay in it. Baby, you gotta find a spot, you gotta stay in that spot. I know you got your nails cut, but I can still hear them. Like this, on this leather ottoman that we're sitting on together. You know, it's all this room. 
Okay. I love you. I'm not trying to not love you. She gonna do what she wanna do, but this is her room. We share a room. Can we not be roommates? I've already done birth you. What else do you want from me? Whenever higher power is seeking things like what I had a conversation about yesterday, um, I forgot the person name. I wish I would have known the person name, but um, this person was famous and necessarily uh, wanted to take their, their fame to a different level, but not in like a spotlight level. Just wanted to like, because they have buku money and they have all of these privileges to, you know, travel and go here and be a sponsor for this person, that person, and make a difference for real, for real. This person was going back and forth, back and forth to Africa and trying to help people in Africa. And the system killed him or that person. The system killed that, killed that person because they're out here helping. And it's crazy because um the... The system don't really want us here, y'all. It's so many of us on this earth that they could easily wipe half of the people on earth without anybody saying anything and having any type of riots and war. They would do that, okay? So, uh, from my understanding, you know, Kobe getting back on track, you know, Kobe and not just Kobe, but a lot of people, or just a lot of people in general, you know, they go out their way to try to help or try to fix situations or put a stop to some things that not necessarily could be going on and they get wiped off the map. Now, I'm gonna end this very soon, but I wanna say this because I watched this video on YouTube. It wasn't in HD form, so it was a little blurry and I didn't, I couldn't confirm. But I'm hearing that Michael Jackson done faked his death, y'all. I know it's been rest in peace to him if he's even passed away. I shouldn't even say that. But, um, I heard Michael Jackson was at his own funeral as a woman in a blonde wig. And I heard that, and the reason why the people in the world, some people in the world, the people that put that video out, believe that is because of his chin. Supposedly, Michael Jackson got a very unique chin. Not only that, but you know, they, they try to like say like, his brother always do the speeches, and the reason why he always do the speeches is because he can always get into that, that, that mood. If he gotta cry, he gotta cry, you know what I'm saying? If he gotta break something down and break down, he gonna break it down and break down. Versus, you know, the other family members, when they was up on the stage, some of them was smiling. But I'm like, you know, maybe in trying to remember his life in a positive way, you know, they, they threw a little joke here and there, and you know, the family was smiling. And then the people I was conversating about this with, they was like, I don't never smell at no funeral and I'm like, okay. I don't know y'all, I'ma just end it on that. It's a whole lot of confusion and mess and gossip and talk and I also read that um the family is asking people that's just saying stuff to shut the fuck up. They ain't say it like that but they wanted me to speak for them. They would tell y'all motherfuckers to shut the fuck up because don't nobody know, for real. You ever play that game in elementary where you whisper something to somebody in, you gotta whisper to the other person? I don't care how small the classroom was. It never came back. It never was said out loud as to how it started. Like, a lot of words got mixed up. Sometimes, I don't know if people did it on purpose. I don't know what grade I was in, but I know we will all sit in this circle. The teacher would say something to somebody in, and they'll come back around and by the time it got to that last person, that last person had to say it out loud, that was not what was said. So, it's kind of like, it's just crazy how things you go through in life, even as a youngin', it, it, it tried to prepare you and teach you for what still is going to, like, what's going to happen in real life and adult life. Like, but that's all I got to say. That's all I wanted to vent. Help me help myself, okay? And maybe you can help help somebody else or help. We need help. We need help as American people, not even just as America, the whole damn planets, okay? Because by this time, is it life on another planet? I don't know. I don't know. But as a planet in whole, we need help. 
And yeah, y'all, so a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period, okay? That's all that I wanted to rant about. For real, I think that's it. I think that's it. If it's not, I'll be back, okay? Happy Black History Month, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my J Fitness Vibes channel where I get my fitness on, my weight gain on, my workout on. And it's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Two! That's my new thing that I'm gonna do over there, you guys. Um, if you miss my lives, that's where that came from. So don't get lost, get with it. Okay, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I love y'all. Hope y'all are being blessed. Okay, having a great day. All right. Uh, be safe. I love you. Mm, I don't know if nobody told you today, but I love you. All right. And peace. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know what the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. Yeah. You know the vibes.